Are you doing the Mentos and Diet Coke experiment? You've got your safety goggles on. Now we're ready to try the experiment. Wow, Odie, that was awesome! Let's find out why it explodes like that! Many people think that this experiment is a chemical reaction, but it's actually a physical reaction. Pop is full of carbon dioxide gas bubbles. The carbon dioxide gas bubbles try to escape but are trapped inside the solution because of the liquid's surface tension. The outside coating of Mentos candies have lots of microscopic bumps and craters. Bubbles form inside these tiny areas when we add the Mentos to the Diet Coke. The bubbles forming inside the bottle create pressure. The pressure builds up so much that it pushes the soda pop out of the bottle. Diet sodas work best for this experiment because they have a little bit more carbonation and because they use artificial sweeteners instead of real sugar. The artificial sweeteners aren't sticky like real sugar, which allows the explosion to go even higher. Let's try the experiment again! But this time, let's test different things! First, let's try using 5 Mentos in one bottle of Diet Coke and 10 Mentos in another bottle of Diet Coke. More Mentos makes the explosion even bigger! Now let's try using a bottle of regular Coke and Diet Coke. We are going to put 10 Mentos in each bottle. <laughs> 